All right, we're against Unknown Warlock here. Well, we can keep a dragon in case we draw Historian. I'm not against that, but... Ice Walker could be good against Zoo. It could just slow him down just enough if we f freeze a Flame Imp or something. All right, we'll keep everything. <laughs> we'll just keep everything. Not sure the ideal mulligan. We gotta be a little bit careful. There's a lot of six drops in this deck. Maybe too many. I jammed in a Coda Rider and uh, two Bone Drakes. Give us more Dragon Synergy. So we got again versus again matchup here. Interesting to see how this will go. I don't have big removal, but I can freeze minions between Blizzard and uh, next turn. We can just uh, play another Ice Walker ping. A little bit weak to Hellfire, or I can coin out a uh, a taunt. I think we're coining out the taunt. Put him on the spot here. That's interesting. We could just play. Yeah, let's not walk into Hellfire. I'm not sure if this works at freezing everything. I still haven't tried that yet, but we'll see maybe this game some at some point. He does have Hellfire. Interesting. So he uh, doesn't like my dude, huh? This isn't getting any value besides being a Yeti. That's a five mana play. All right, we'll just, yeah, we'll just. Yeti's not bad, but it has the opportunity to be more. Now, the reason to play it is cards like uh, Echoing, Echo Medivh get better. If it's just out there, I can copy it and then play the uh, copied version to cop, you know, discount all the copies. All right, we're Hunter now with that one. That was a that was a decent turn, I guess. We didn't walk into another Hellfire and we uh, did some deeps. That's turn seven, so that's turn six, turn seven, and then at any point we can kind of do that kind of thing. I did give him the four, we did give him the four mana seven seven, which is a little bit awkward. Probably will freeze it if he uh, plays it. He's gonna taunt them? Yep. Alright, we can test this combo here. Alright, so it does work. It does indeed work. If he's got Hellfire, I should probably trade this, but it has value, right? Man, it's just kind of valuable if it lives. It's kind of valuable if it lives. If he Hellfires it, I guess we have to trade the 4, 5, and then we start playing uh, Kodo. One thing we haven't tried yet is the Molten Giant in Paladin, because the new Legendary makes you able to play it on turn 3, or coining it on turn 2, which is kind of hilarious. So many possibilities. Shadow Flame? Oh, that's gross. We got Kodo Ping versus this Ping. Play that. Yeah, let's just get this going. Let's get, moving. let's get moving. I have played this deck before. Uh, I was testing a version recently with Double Pyro, Double Fire Ball. As a way to end these games that we don't win with Cold Air Drake, but uh, I it did. That version did cut a lot of the dragons. The dragons. We're trying Hexlord Malakras in this deck. One of the reasons because a lot of the games that I, a lot of cards I want early, like Fallen Hero and uh, Ice Walker, Garrison Commander. I also kind of want late game when we sort of combine them with Cold Air Drake. All right, so he's definitely a Reno deck. Out of time. You win this time. Jaina versus the 
Ah, Galaka Crawler. Not bad. I'll keep that. We'll, uh... We'll throw back the Historian. I don't have a dragon yet. I think I will keep the, uh... Yeti as it... It might it might be what I need after we hit a Galaka Crawler here. Just a, a dude. Turned our curse into our strength. All right, that doesn't necessarily mean he doesn't have pirates because even it's pretty hard not to play pirates in Rogue right now. Their new their new King's Bank card draws pirates, so don't think we play our uh, crab here. I'll go ahead and risk that one dying. Look, you shinies. Hmm. Well, we can't freeze them unfortunately. So if he has a deadly here, not much I can do about it. Although. We get, make him have to decide, right? Does he give me the Argal value right into Leyline, or does he, you know, avoid being frozen the rest of the game? He should probably be avoiding being frozen every turn if possible, I imagine. King's Bane's in the deadly. I think he should kill the the freeze thing, I think. Oh, Necrium Blade. So he's the uh, Malagos deck, I guess? With the, uh, what do you call it thing? Dude, that's definitely cheat death, like for sure, right? Interesting enough that he can actually, um, what do you call it? Get this death route just by hitting this button. Interesting. I need to look this list up here. Necrium Row Wild. I don't know what you call it. Uh. Big Rogue. Here's one from November. Lich King. Oh, so this is like a, uh, what do you call it, deck? Dane deck, basically, right? I'm going to guess that's what he's doing. Could be a Malagos combo, oh, but... Monsters behind you. Probably not. Probably no uh, actual... Um... Not much reason to kill that because he has cheat death, so uh, he can trigger that with hero power, but then, yeah, I don't know. Zap is gross. Yeah, it's kind of lame. Oh, I have to give this to him now? Oh, that's kind of lame. Man, I don't have to. We could give him another Lich King spell. I don't think I can give him a six mana. Because he can play it this turn, right? I can't, I can't do that. That's really awkward for me here. Well... He's going to have two? Rise. Apparently. Maybe we play that and force him to do something to our guy, right? Frostmourne. That's cheating. Alright, maybe we can kill him with Kaldera Drake off the top here. Kinda needed that one. We needed that one to get echoed and then we could ley line it to zero. Yeah. At this point, I think it's time I think it's time we give him a uh a Lich game because I can't. My 
His hand is too full. He's only at three. He has to deal with Keldar Drake. He can't sap it because then he dies to four pings. Um, if he uses Frostmorden, well, obviously he can't attack a six six currently. He needs some sort of heal, right? Doom Pact. Yeah, that's a way to deal with it without. I guess I couldn't couldn't should be too surprised considering he had, you know, infinite spells. Alright, he doesn't heal. We have uh, Fallen here off the top for two. Kildar Drake number two off the top for four. And uh, Garrison Commander also does two, too. So we got a couple ways to do two. Four ways. And we can Anixia ping, right? That's pretty neat. Ooh, he's, he's really desperate here for... for uh, Place here. Is oh, monsters behind you. Come, try your luck. Can this get lethal somehow? I don't think so, right? I don't think so. So we got Blizzard. I think we go Historian Blizzard Ping. Mm. That way we don't have to deal with this garbage, and uh, we just need to do one. Indragosa uh, seems fun. But we're probably not going to play it. I feel like this is the kind of deck that should be running healing. Definitely not of the woods yet. But why why wouldn't he been healing like a long time ago? That's the question, right? Alright, we got him. Wow, crazy game. Alright, we'll throw the Ley Lines back. We'll try to get a dragon instead. Dragon stuff. Um, there we go. Although I do need one more, right? We have turned our curse into our strength. None will survive. Baku versus Gen here. So, can we win against all the AOEs in the world? Not sure, guys. Not sure. This guy, unfortunately, is terrible. I don't have book in this deck, so it's just gonna die. Also, this one dies too. Yeah, kind of a lot of cards kind of just get pooped on, right? I did this. I cursed them all. All right, I'll give him a uh, give him two pink targets instead of one. All right, at least we get value here, possibly, unless we draw a spell. I don't have many spells. Oh, he's just going to... Okay, burn his whole hand. At least an aggressive Baku deck. He is not a... Uh... He is not a control -y deck if he's got Shooting Star and Missiles, right? I mean, the only reason to run those is, like, exactly Art Antonitis kind of thing, but I imagine he's just, like, got a bunch of secrets. Like, he's not big mana. I don't think he's got big mana stuff here. Deathwing. Um, no, I don't think so. This one's interesting, but this one's probably better overall. Finally, I'm kind of happy um, echoing either one of these, so we'll see. Maybe he has another uh, arcane missile, though. Hmm. I have to be careful. The turn I echo, I do fall behind on tempo, so it would be nice to get some of these back, but. It's at the cost of uh, developing. We probably can't do that. You 
Yeah, he's playing secrets and a boar. So he's, he doesn't have any AoE. I mean, he might have AoE, but he doesn't have, like, you know, Dragon Fury, Flame Strike. He might have exactly Flame Strike, right? Look how it burns! Oh, your word, Cur. Uh, that will be a discounted guy, right? I could echo first and then do that. Um, but if we echo this thing, yeah, it makes sense. Power is ecstasy. You are yeah, if this ley line lives, we echo it and then play the, the other uh, ley line. Oh, there's not there won't be much left to echo because he's gonna kill the one three fortunately probably I mean he could trade with the four three yet yeah, to stop damage right this is a pretty good um, anti uh, blazing rune garden mere entity Uh oh, rut row. Well, at least we're at twenty. He's at twelve. Flame strike is bad. That's that's a bit of a yolo rag, considering we have a bunch of good ones for him to miss. He gets to ping something, I guess, just to make rag hit the eight-eight more. Wait, what? Face? Really? You want face? Alright, did we win? Alright, we just win. The value. The value. The Lagaka Crawlers are good when we need them, but they haven't been good. They have not been good at all. Bring victory. You asked for Here's where we want the second polymorph over pretty much everything. Got to get the first polymorph. We have turned our curse into our strength. If I don't want to run Galaka Crawler, what can we put in instead? Probably needs to be another two drop just so we don't fall behind. It could be something like uh, another poly, right? So this is worse versus Potion of Madness, better versus Horror. If I play this one first, we get Horde, uh, maybe. This is more damage overall, right? If he plays Barnes, we have 5, 7, plus 4. That's a bit of a desperation play there. Excavated evil it could be another spirit lash technically. Looks like a light bomb. Yeah, light bomb. Nope, not a light bomb. Is he dead? Might be dead here. Yeah. All right, we'll play. We even do the poly. We do the poly. Get polyed. All right, we'll keep the uh, early two drop. I want to keep the dragon for getting another dragon. Then Spirit of Dragon Hawk is why we made the deck, or we revisited the deck, right? Combos with the one mana here power as well as the Ice Walker, exactly, and technically Fallen here as well. We have turned our curse into our strength. Not great against Heal Totem, obviously. <laughs> Definitely gonna coin out a, uh, a guy here. It survives the eel. 
he plays Totem Golem, at least we kill the Taunt. Almost for sure better to hit that because of Flame Tongue. I mean, we could set that up, but it's likely our play anyway. <laughs> right? Three mana. Big boss. Okay. He didn't want to... Interesting. So we can freeze his face here. Maybe we do that after. Yeah, that makes more sense. All right, keep him off the board. Keep him off the board as much as possible. The best draw now is just Garrison Commander or probably the... Uh... Fallen Hero, right? He keeps getting the 1-1. One, one. Fortune for him, that's not the one he wants. For sure. Wow, he didn't even do anything. Okay, now we're just gonna freeze him. I think we're for sure gonna get devolved at some point here. But... At least, if he devolves now, we get a taunt after. Garrison's still good because if he let's say he plays like zero mana at five five, we can play Garrison, freeze the five five, freeze his face. It's gonna be hard to win. We're not. I mean, we're we are ahead against Genshin, which is hard. But like eventually, eventually the cards like devolve are gonna kind of get me. Guess we let him. Yeah, because this ping is good. It freezes, and we get to kill that. <laughs> Still no devolve. He's just gonna keep getting frozen, huh? I can poly this. It's kind of hard not to poly that, right? Maelstrom Portal? Yeah, Portal's bad. He got the spell power. Now he gets to basically kill everything. Aha! We got the garrison. Alright, so that kind of goes off, right? We can hit that, freeze that, and then... We don't want this to actually die, right? See how we're still like barely like we're we're kind of crushing, but at the same time, his plays are just so strong, like Sea Giant and uh Treader and Eel and stuff, Jade Lightning, etc. Tempting to echo now, but um we can Blizzard ping. We could ping, ping then Blizzard, which is better. Probably ping then Blizzard. Let's ping first, see what happens. The Blizzard is so valuable. I think we can do better than that. He's already got one guy frozen. Another, another crackle. All right, that was good. We dodged the the, uh, the thing head. there. Although we had to dodge a <laughs> couple things here. No! I mean, Blizzard got better. To be fair, Blizzard did get better. When Kodo Rider gets devolved, it's pretty good, right? Wow, he's still he still got all these powerful plays, man. Kind of crazy. Let's get like his turn was nutty. He played a four minute seven seven two minute three four. 
He got to protect his 3 1. I didn't freeze him. I didn't do enough there. Yeah, I froze his guy, but. Uh, um, we're way behind now. So we got Cindergosa Crawler Ping versus. Yeah, that's like the only play. Or no, I can't crawl or imping. The good news is our top decks are probably better than his, and uh, you know, we're at 30, so. That's kind of a gross turn again. Like, how does he, how does he keep having these insane turns, man? Kind of unbelievable. I don't have any armor, but that basically has taunt, kind of interesting. I don't like playing that into that. I don't like playing that into that. Yeah, it's kind of like. It's a value guy. The 1-1 one one is kind of irrelevant. Looks like we have to take out the Galaka Crawlers for Blizzard and a Polymorph because I need them a lot here. I need the Poly against Barnes. I need the Poly against this guy. I need the Blizzard against this guy. Galaka Crawler. It's an early game 2-drop. Occasionally works with... Um, Uh, so which of these are randomly get gotten? I dodge like a Lich King or Rag off the top here. Come on, have a blank for one turn, man. Nope, evolve. What does that do? I mean, he didn't. It's a two mana play at least. Oh, that's kind of nutty. My hand is very awkward. A cold air drink would have been amazing. Just ping everything. Um, we get too many sixes. I kind of want to do something with this, right? Either drag it from here or after doing that. The second copy of Spirit of Dragon Hawk would be good. Fallen Hero would have been amazing to kill these two. Is he gonna trade his, his uh, doggy? No. He probably should have though, because now. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Guess that makes sense. Here we go. Garrison ping. Or we can ping ping, hit that. I guess I just killed a big one. All right, that works with that aesthetically. All right, let's go. We got a druid sighting here in wild. You asked for it. See what he's up to here. Probably Hadronox, some kind of sort of Hadronox deck if I had to guess. Do we need Polymorph against random druid? I don't think so. Maybe we'll keep a dragon just in case of a uh, historian. I, I I switched up the deck a little bit. I took out the two Galaka crawlers. We just weren't playing enough pirates for it to be good here at rank 14. And I added a Polymorph, a blizzard. I also took we out Arugul. 
into our strength. Because without book inspectors, like the old deck had, Arugal is a lot worse, and uh, he's just kind of a two minute to do too many times. So we're playing the new tr new card as well, Fire Tree Witch Doctor. I caught a uh, Echo Medivh as well. I thought the second copy might just be the worst card in the deck. It, it could be. It's good in some situations, but. It's already a greedy card. Having two is kind of kind of silly, honestly. All right, we have a dragon. We could play this and coin out the taunt to protect it. Um, I'm down. I don't think this deck has any problem with value, so if we just play our cards, it'd be okay. I guess we're gonna play a Yeti over the uh, the value kind of thing, but a Yeti's a Yeti. What does double Raven Idol mean? Is he some sort of auctioneer deck, maybe? Why would he play Idol over stuff like Living Roots and stuff? I don't know. Maybe he's a mill deck. He's trying to get more... something. <laughs> Wild growth, all right. I'm gonna... Yeti's gonna have to be good enough. Now here's where I do want the second. Here's why I do want the second copy of Echo, because if we Echo this board, or e Echo this guy specifically at any point, it's kind of nutty, because you play it, and then it makes everything else cheaper too, right? Nature's blessings upon you. Or you play your original one, and it makes the copied one cheaper. You play the copied one for half the price, and then it makes everything basically zero, right? Living mana. Alright, so... We can freeze a bunch of these. It's kind of hilarious, actually. Well played. I consume. He's got, what do you call it? I should probably kill. How bad is it if he marks? It's pretty bad because he gets three, he gets four three threes. So two of them kill that. One do. of them kills that for free. One of them kills that. Yeah, I should probably at least do that. And then if I'm doing that, I should do that. Now he can Savage Roar, but because three things are frozen, he probably doesn't want to Savage Roar, I don't think. He should still mark, right? Maybe he's just not going to mark at all. He's just going to let everything die. All right, that's my deck, so that's what we're doing for sure. Didn't use our mana very well there, but... Now, if he does it again, we can call Dare Drake and then... Uh... No, we can't ping twice. Only ping once. If we, if we play this, this one will be four mana. I think we're just going to play Emperor Tarzan. Oh, we freeze him. We freeze him, too. <laughs> All right, that's funny. Freezing him's good if he's trying to get rid of that thing, obviously. Now we play this, and this becomes three mana. The longer we wait, the better this gets, because if this gets down to zero, then we have, you know, almost 20 damage from... Uh, Fire a fallen hero. There's like no reason not to do this now. Spreading plague, maybe? I think about that. Uh... Plague would be annoying because, well, this slows me down. The uh, three guys can kill and have nine pings to do the rest. Definitely need to freeze his face again. Also, we are in wild, so there's poison seed into plague. 
which means that uh, it's not good, guys. It's not good for Let's me. See. Originally, this deck had Mossy Horror, it, Mossy Horror in it exactly for Plague. I cut the Horrors, obviously, because there's no more Druids running around except this guy. So there's not really a reason to need Horrors anymore. But it for a while, you did need to be ready for Druid in Wild. Right now, you don't need to be ready for Druid, so there's no Mossy Horror. But that would be the one answer for, for us. All right, so he doesn't have a Poison Seed combo. This is good. How much damage? We got nine? Nine, ten, eleven. He's just dead. He let me do it too. Props to that guy, let me do it. He's like, where's my plague? All right, we'll try to pick up a dragon here. The polymorph could be good, but he's more likely like spell slash secret hunter than um, death rattle here in wild. Also been seeing a little bit of the Barnes your Sarge hunter, which is basically spell hunter too, right? All right, we need to get a dragon. Ironically, um, Polymorph might be one of the cards we want to get. We'll see. No, we definitely need... Definitely need AoEs. So if we play this on turn 3, on turn 4 we get double ping. That's probably the plan. Fortunately, uh... Ooh, that was good. Kind of giving him a, a hit here, but whatever. It's too damage we don't take to the face, I guess. I guess we're pollying that. Although he would be able to, hmm. He would be able to kill my guy for free. We go garrison, ping, ping. That's a dead, that's a four, one. That's a one, two. Stealth? What? Well, I can technically kill that, I guess. Do I want to, though? Because Blizzard just does the work for me, kind of. Mm, I don't want to get hit for four, though. That's the problem. What does that do? He needs a spell? Oh, God. Probably has a spell, maybe not. That's a good poly. He's going face like a champ. Like a true hunter hero. True hunter hero. So we could freeze it. We could freeze his face too. It's kind of funny. I don't actually have to kill that right now. How do I get punished? It's just I kind of need to poly, poly it anyway, right? Yeah, I missed one damage there. Hopefully that doesn't come back to hurt me. Hopefully that doesn't hurt us.
These shredders are being annoying here. We gotta win quick, because this, eventually this will kill me, right? Speaking of will kill me, that... That will kill me soon. The good news is he didn't, uh... The hell is that? Oh, that doesn't do anything, right? Thanks for making it to the end of the video guys. I have links here for more content. And if you would like to see the channel grow, please click that subscribe button in the middle. Thank you so much and I will see you next time.